All right, and we are back. We've got uh, another video with the uh, Rock Island 38 M206. I've done two other videos with this, one about shooting plus P through it, which I don't recommend, even though I did it. And we also have a Taurus 856. I've actually had a few people uh, ask me to do a comparison between the two, so we picked one up and we did a comparison. We went out and shot it. Uh, it shoots well, it shoots very well. So to start with the uh, obvious, they're both six shot revolvers. They're both black, about the same size. I mean, if you put one on top of the other one, pretty close in size and dimension. Um, the This grip that I have on here is larger than the grip that came on the Taurus. Uh, both guns are unloaded, as you can see. Nothing in there. And this one here, nothing in that one. So let's get right to it. Let's talk about the sights. The sight picture on the Rock Island for me was a little bit harder to get uh, precise with just because for whatever reason it looks wider in the notch, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Both, both guns shot like two inch revolvers. They were not real you know, these are not something you're going to go out and make, you know, this big of a group at 100 yards with. Not going to happen unless you get super lucky like three times. So as far as the sights go, I'm going to give a win to the Taurus. The uh, front sight is adjustable. The front sight is milled in to the barrel shroud on the Rock Island. Now let's talk about the groupings. Um, shot both of them off of a rest and had shit for groups i think that was me pulling the trigger because both triggers on these are uh six seven pounds i believe we'll get we'll check that out here in a minute but uh yeah i was getting like a two inch group out of it out of both guns the um torch shot a little bit uh low and right the point of aim on the Rock Island was better and it was more repeatable so if, again I'm going to give the win on that one to the Rock Island and speaking of trigger pull let's get right to it uh, again both guns are uh, not chambered not loaded this is the Taurus we will put the gauge on it we have the Wheeler uh, trigger pull scale we'll cock the hammer back And we'll pull it until she breaks. All right, she broke right under seven pounds. I don't know if you can see it there. It's a bit under seven pounds, which it's, this revolver hasn't been shot a whole lot. The Rock Island has been shot quite a bit more. Uh, I just picked this up recently. Now we'll check the uh, Rock Island for trigger pull, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be better just because of the amount of rounds that have been put through it. So, let's do a trigger pull on this one. And then, yeah, that one broke right under six. So the win on the uh, trigger pull is going to go to neither gun because it is not a fair comparison because I have a lot more rounds through this Rock Island than I have through this Taurus. Now, the overall feel of the guns, um, if you have larger hands, this Rock Island may be better for you because you can actually get a pretty decent purchase on it. You can get you know, your finger on the bottom of the grip with no problem with something hanging out. Uh, I wear a large glove. I don't have huge hands. And uh, it fits pretty good. It's a plastic grip. It's not rubber. The Taurus... On the other hand, has a smaller grip. You cannot get a full pinky on there, as you can see there. So you can get like two and a half, which your pinky does touch it. But as far as a grip goes, we are 100% going to give the uh, grip category to the Rock Island because the Rock Island comes with two sets of grips. You have these wooden grips, and you also have these plastic grips or stocks depending on uh, the nomenclature you want to use 
uh, this is the Rock Island we blew up in the first video we ever made. And it, I actually was so impressed with it, I went out and bought another one, and that's this one. So the, uh, yeah, the grip's going to go to the Rock Island. All right, as far as finish goes on the guns, the Rock Island is a little rough around the edges. Uh, the barrel crown on this, uh, it's pretty sharp. I mean, it's you could probably cut yourself with it if you grab it just right, but I don't recommend grabbing your gun by the uh, barrel. The Taurus, on the other hand, is it the fit and finish is better on it. Uh, the lockup is about the same on either gun. The Taurus does feel like it has a better fit and finish to it, so we're going to give the win of that to the Taurus. It has a uh, pretty good feel. It, you know, no rough edges, nothing sharp, nothing sticking out, nothing that's going to grab anything. As far as what the guns are based off of, the uh, Rock Island is a kind of a copy of a Colt detective model. Uh, it opens like a Colt. I didn't know that in the first video, and I had two and a half million people tell me that it was a Colt copy. Now I know. Uh, it's They did a pretty good job making a uh, Colt copy, which I've seen Colts and handled Colts since that first video. The Taurus is basically a copy of a uh, Smith & Wesson. The it opens like a Smith & Wesson. Uh, it, you know, barrel shroud similar in shape. This gun, when you cock the hammer, the cylinder turns clockwise. The Taurus, when you pull the hammer, the cylinder goes counterclockwise. As far as ammunition goes, the uh, other video I did about the Rock Island was I was shooting plus P ammo through it. It doesn't say anywhere in the instruction manual that this is rated for plus P. Um, I shot plus P with no problems just because of how strong I saw it was in the video where I blew it up. The Taurus is rated for plus P. It's rated for continuous plus P. Uh, so as far as ammunition compatibility, it has to go to the Taurus because this is not factory recommended for plus B ammunition. All right, let's get down to the real reason we're here. The cost of the guns. Both of, both of these guns are uh, budget weapons. The Rock Island can be had quite a bit cheaper at times. I've seen this as low as like uh, 225 advertised. And uh, for the money, it's a extremely good weapon if you're on a budget that's all you can afford i would highly recommend one of these other people that have had issues will argue i'm not here to say which one is you know going to be the end all of all weapons but uh, if you need a gun i would recommend this tour this uh rock island the taurus i've seen these as low like on flash sales of certain places for like 259 250 bucks and if you can get one of these for 250 bucks 260 dollars jump on it it's a really good deal uh, normal cost on these is about 300 and you can buy them pretty much and if you shop around you can find one for 300 dollars or cheaper uh, it's not much more expensive than the rock island now if i can only pick one i would pick the taurus um, as of right now that may change if it does i'll make another video about it later but this the taurus feels a little better to me uh the fit and finish is a little better on it it is not a smith and wesson it's not smith and wesson quality i'm not going to sit here and lie to you but then again smith and wesson's had some quality issues as well you know lately but yeah i would definitely recommend either one of these if you're on a budget if you find one of these on sale for 200 or 225 jump on it you're not going to be disappointed and if something does happen they have a good warranty uh as well as taurus taurus has a good warranty i know sometimes their warranty work takes a little while but since they're based in the united states now uh they i heard they're getting their warranties turned around a lot faster and uh getting back out to their customers all right so tell me your opinion on both these guns which one do you like best? Do you like the Taurus better? Or do you like the Rock Island better? Um, 
I like to hear you guys' opinions about this stuff. As long as it's constructive, there's no reason to be mean, which it seems like people in the gun community are just just ragging on each other constantly. Um, yeah, let's keep it civil. And tell me which one you like best, because it's me personally. I like both of them. I, I, they're not going nowhere. I like shooting them. Cheap to shoot, cheap to reload for, small, compact. Uh, and we'll probably make more videos with them as we play with them some more. So uh, if you learned anything from this, if you uh, like this, uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.